Hey everybody, and we are back. And yeah, I've just received my new compact mouse and keyboard. Extremely small compared to my previous one. So I'm gonna be switching it over. Uh, yeah, what's this? Okay. Yeah. So let's move all this stuff over there. Yeah, and tonight I won't be able to paint again, looks like it. There are a lot of tiny flying ants coming through my window. So, I would actually need to close it. It's like Starship Troopers, all of them. You'll be able to see them flying around. Ooh. And it lost my camera. What the... Give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to deal with this. Amateur hour. <laughs> Okay, we are back online. All right, cool. Very cool. And I need to put batteries for this one. Oh, triple A. Give me a sec, guys. I'm just going to get some triple A batteries for my keyboard keyboard oh cool it's all right we have it here make two of these and we should be good to go all right yep it works yep you're still here all right, new mouse, new keyboard. Things are looking great. Keep all this stuff. Okay. Let's move this away. Yeah, I've been listening to my audio from my couple of videos that I posted after the upgrade uh, to the new microphone and I think the sound quality is better but sometimes I feel it's a bit too loud or too sharp so I've toned it down a bit and then we'll see how this stream goes yeah Okay, what else do I need? Uh, yeah, I need my microphone, uh, my headphones actually. Okay, that's done. Ooh, look at all the little flying ants. They're everywhere. It's an invasion. Uh, this is how far we have gotten with the current inner frame for the leg unit. So I've done up. Uh, one side, uh, part of the other side, I need to 
complete the middle section. So this, this one is already done. This side is completed, right? I've already posted a picture of it in Instagram. And yeah, we will be continuing with this. Already got coded this. So all it needs now is uh, some panel lining and then I'll flat coat it, right? Mm -hmm. Go away. I really don't want to squish you guys, but. I'm left without a choice. Okay. Right. Oh. Another one. See? Let's keep this. Hopefully the microphone is not picking up my small little fan. If not, you're gonna hear a buzzing sound. For those who haven't done panel lining before, right, uh, it, it's really a very cool thing to do. You should really give it a try. But make sure that you uh, top coat it first with gloss so that the ink will run very smoothly, will flow very smoothly. And never panel line after you top coat it with flat because what will happen is the ink will actually disperse and smear all over due to the uh, flat properties of the coating and you won't get clean lines and when you try to wipe it off right you might not be able to get rid of it because it's already gotten into the uh, sorry right, the flat surfaces which is a bit rough compared to smooth gloss so sometimes you're wondering why can't I get rid of it? Why can't I wipe it clean? That's that's the reason. You uh, put it with flat and then you try to wipe it away. Yeah. And it just doesn't work. Okay. Same thing. Uh, once you top coat it with gloss, it's very easy to penalize as well as to apply your decals. You won't see any uh what, what do you call that there's a term for it uh oh it's actually i skip i can't quite remember what's the term called let, let me recall it then i'll yeah talk about it silvering yeah silvering silvering is when you can see like uh sort of like hazy whitish uh borderline border uh, around your decals so you get that if you are trying to uh, apply your decals on flat surfaces and it won't give a nice sort of like blend into your surface. So always of course with gloss apply your decals and then yeah apply your flat if you want to. wait for this to dry while I continue to squish little box. Damn, I feel like I'm zero killer man. mess mess with carrying all these little box.
uh, another good thing about a fan, right? I can actually air dry it <laughs> by putting the parts to it, facing it. If I want a quick air dry effect on the panel lines, air dry. Dry, yep, pretty much dry. So, again, same thing. Ooh, excuse me, private chat comments. Oh, sorry, this was on all the time. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Uh, There's too many bucks tonight.
Seriously, you guys, where are you all coming from? Uh, when I close all the windows, I think they are just getting through all the gaps because of the lights I'm having here. It's so bright and they are attracted to lights. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I should be able to complete the uh, in frames from the other leg tomorrow as well. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Not much masking involved, just one layer and I had just hand painted the details in. Yeah. Oh, I think I managed to get rid of most of the flying ants. I don't see them anymore, so that is good. Okay, so that is done. And oh, I need to top coat it. So there's two ways to do it. I can open the window <laughs> quickly, spray it up, and then close back the windows. Even that would have resulted in quite a number of flying ants coming in. Yeah, that's it. See, they're so fast. More here. Oh, another one here. And another one. Ugh. Okay, this is done. So just give it a few, couple of minutes for it to dry. And then we can assemble it to the, the other part, the other side of the legs. Okay. Okay, 
Now we just fix it. Straight snap on. No biggie. That's it. We have to complete it. Completed leg internal frame. Uh, okay, I like not really completed. There's another hip joint here on top. So I haven't done that yet. Uh, let's go through. The colors once again, only three colors for the leg armor uh, for the bottom part that we've just completed. Dark, dark gray, uh, robot iron, and gunmetal. And I like the details in gold, red, uh, copper, as well as my what's, stone green. Yeah. Right, let's keep this. Rubber band up the stuff. Yeah, the reason I rubber band it, right? In case you tip it over or drop it, it won't fall out of the box. Yesterday, this fell out and everything went on the floor. <laughs> I forgot to, I was moving it around and I didn't rubber band it and it just poof, gone. Luckily, nothing was missing and my floor is not carpeted, so it's very easy to find. Okay. So what we're going to do tonight, since we can't do much airbrushing, we're just going to mask off some of these parts and tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, I should be able to just uh, spray it. Uh, the bad thing about doing masking and leaving it overnight and all that, right? The masking tape will actually lift the next morning. So you can either press it down again or replace parts that I have lifted too much. Yeah. Which is the reason why I don't normally mask overnight. Yeah. Okay. Or what I can continue to do is, I can actually continue to work on some other stuff. Yeah, I was actually thinking of buying a couple of uh, Warhammer figures. So in case, like, we face the same... Because I, I do face uh, all these flying insects quite frequently. So if I can't paint airbrush, right, I can just paint figurines and all that. Better than not doing anything. So, yeah. Been thinking of actually doing that for quite some time. <laughs> just haven't gotten around to do it. I can also paint the pilot figures. Yeah, come to think of it. I have a whole bunch of them unpainted. Whole bunch of Mika. And paint him as well. Yeah, I've already primed him actually. 
Yeah, why not? Let's paint Mika. Good idea. Right? We can actually paint Mika tonight. Hey! Great idea. What I want to do... Mika, what color should I paint? Oh, I need to find it looks like online green, I remember green jacket. Okay, there we go. Just do a print screen. And it's saved up. Okay, we're gonna paint his flesh colors first. Flesh, I'll just work flesh, jacket, pants. Yep. And then lastly, his hair. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need this. So flesh color, okay, I remember I have flesh colors. Just need to find it. Where did I put it? Flesh colors, there we go. Guy notes, flesh colors. I think I have more than just guy notes. I remember I have some other Mr. Hobby as well, I think. Yellow, sand, uh, flash. Oh, looks like it's the only bottle I have. Uh, this is not bad as well. It's okay to use this. Yeah, first pass, I, I won't even bother to shade it. Do any shading. Just paint on the basic colors. 
I'll wait up. It's quite incredible that they try to have features on this tiny face. You can actually see the eyes, nose area as well. Scale is a bit off though. Yeah, he's so much uh, bigger compared to the Sha figure that came with the Zaku. Let's flash it on. You can the folded up areas. The so folded areas will be in a yellowish. Uh, I can actually paint them in dark yellow or the lighter shade, which will be. The, that was another yellow. Ah, oh, there we go. It's hiding here. Dark yellow too. Why is my dark yellow tool sitting there? Should be back in the shelves. I'm not using it anymore for dual blue. You know what? Let me change the camera angle so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, bear with me while I maneuver it into position. Right. 
sorry about doing this halfway through the stream yeah but it's better than you guys not actually seeing anything from like zillion miles away Ah, there we go. Right. Okay. At least you can see something. Okay. Just <laughs> putting it here. Yeah. Move it a bit. it round a bit yeah so this is what we are actually working on focus there we go so the flash is in the sleeve area is in yeah so we continue to paint this fella good this is Better than not seeing anything, right? Mika being painted. Uh, this is a triple zero. Sable hair brush, same brush that I always use for my detailing of parts on the gun plug. I think that's it, right? Let me look. Oh, the collar. Collar is actually the insides of the collar. I mean, insides of the collar is actually uh, this color as well. So we're gonna work our way into the insides of the collar. It's okay if you over paint it a bit as long as you get the inside right and then the outside you can actually cover it up later. Yeah. Oh, I really miss painting figurines. Second wave of tiny ants. What the? Ah, look at look at the camera. This doesn't want to stay focused. Hello, I'm here. Ah, let's put it on my arm. I'll put it on my hands, and you should be able to see. There we go. Sleeves done. So we're gonna do the jacket next. It's the actual figure. Right. Jacket next. Green. Oh, we got tons of that. Let's find one which is similar to this jacket color. Green. 
think this will be a better fit. Yeah, this will be a better fit. Okay. Uh, sorry, I didn't show this. It's the color 364. That's the green I'll be using for Mika's focus. Come on. Ah, it's not focusing, sorry. That's the color I'll be using for Mika's jacket. No. No, there's nothing left. Why didn't I throw it away? Six four. No, tons of these. Yeah, there's another bottle here. Hmm. Still too. Still not intelligent enough to focus. All right, give me a second, guys. Uh, what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna change the autofocus on the camera. So I'm gonna stop my cam, and I'll be back in. Couple of seconds to get this right. Stop the camera. Hello. Okay, stop the camera. Uh, why is my avatar the wrong avatar? <laughs> Very unprofessional. Oh, well. The settings. Stop the camera. Well, this mouse it doesn't seem to be the new mouse doesn't oh okay there we go open this up oh you gotta click it harder all right cool. i didn't apply enough pressure to it Oops. Very sensitive mouse. Should be better. Oh, there we go. Move this up. Your settings, bonds. Control off, off. six. Right. 
apply okay Click okay come back we start the cam yeah and that should be better hopefully right is it better Too bad. Yeah, what I've done is I've readjusted the camera focus so that it doesn't hunt anymore and it's a fixed focus. And then I can just adjust it so that it stays in focus. Yeah. All right, let's continue painting this and we should be okay. Yeah, just gonna paint it quickly all over the jacket before we actually start working on the uh, corners and edges and all that. Just the main body. And if you guys notice, right, I'm actually painting with lacquer paint. So not many people do it this way. People normally use acrylic. No other reason for me to actually use uh, lacquer other than I, I don't have acrylic paints. So I just work with whatever I have. Sorry if the camera is getting bumped around, uh, my magnifying specs is actually hitting the camera. The camera is right in front of my face. <laughs> uh, the best position will actually be right on top of my specs. Attached to my specs, I mean.
Yep, there we're almost done. So we'll just fill up the Start up this one. Ooh. Okay. And the other side. Check it done. Right. Double check, make sure all the parts are painted. And you can move to the uh, what the color of this t-shirt is wearing? Oh, a, a little bit blue. Excuse me. Blueish t-shirt. I can't really see it. Okay. Can't really see it. So what about his pants? His pants are a little bit brown. A little bit brown. A little bit brown. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. You know what happened? Yep. The Tina fell on the figure. Ah, shit. And all the paint came off. Yeah, well, hopefully it doesn't melt the figure. <laughs> Crap. So, we've got to start all over again. Great. Thanks, Brown, but no thanks. All right, let's restart this. Um, man, these little insects are really getting to me, getting on my nerves. Give me a sec, right? I'm gonna switch on the air conditioning. All right, let's restart this. Sorry about that. Natural disasters. I just want to repaint this space.
slash change is actually quite thick. Not sure why it is not mixing well with the thinner. Yeah, I wish I have some sit to the opening now. Really miss those. That works. And there was the yellow that I had for the sleeves. Uh, which, was it this one? We got yellow too here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, this one completed. I have to repaint the inside. I should check it. What's the color of it? On both sides. And we have to repaint the whole jacket again. It was pretty much destroyed in that mishap. Okay. Oh, what's this? Why is my window popping up for no reason? Sorry guys, my mouse is acting crazy on me. Why is this coming up? I didn't click on that. I wonder if I can use my old mouse with this. Let's give it a try. Never know, it might actually work. So this new mouse is for this. Yeah. 
back online. Sorry, little bump and speed. Yeah. yeah, if you don't have a magnifying glass spec style thing that are similar to what I'm using, right? You might actually find it difficult to see. Where you're supposed to paint them. So, yeah. I'm just trying to say I'm not old. But basically I'm old. <laughs> and I have bad eyesight. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Okay, that's done. Let's not tip over anything else. Be good. And for the white, this one is still sticky. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this here because it's a bit dirty. And I'll put in some new thinner. While we wait for this to dry. So how are you guys getting along on your Sunday? Hope you all are having fun doing whatever you all are doing. Okay. Uh, what's next? Oh, let's just paint the hair actually. What, what color should I paint them? Yeah, they're not really black in that sense, so I'm going to find a, try to find some dark grey, darkish grey, bluish. There's actually a black blue that I have that might work. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? Alternatively, right, I tell you what, let's paint it in black, 
Okay. And then later on, we'll just fill in the shadows with uh, black. And the black gray will sort of like highlight. You, you can do a reverse way of doing it. Paint it black and then try to bring up the highlights later. Yeah, that'll be an easier way actually. All right, let's forget this. Just use the reverse method of doing things. Uh, where's my black? Midnight blue. Yeah, there we go. Midnight blue. Oh man, this thing is stuck. Okay. Midnight blue. That looks black. But it is actually Yeah, midnight blue. <laughs> dark blue. Extremely dark. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a photo of the avat uh, of this painted figure later and stick it to be the thumbnail, so that guys who are ex who are expecting a gunpla build can actually see that it was a figure painting <laughs> instead, and they can skip past it if they don't wanna watch it. Okay. And not many people like these style of videos. They they prefer the ASMR style of videos. This is basically extremely long and boring videos. Sorry, I'll take it off camera a bit due to the angle. I can't really see what I'm painting. Okay, give me a sec. Let me settle this area, this bit first on top of this head. That's our maker. Um, let's cover up this area. Come on, paint. Don't give up. Don't fail me now. Yeah, what? Oh, sorry about that. Okay, Mika got hair. Mika. Hmm? Let's move the camera around to see how it focuses. Is it better this idea?
All right, let's do the pens next. That's where our disaster happens, right? here. Yeah. So this will be the color I'll be using. Uh, oh, Dark Earth, ten, Mr. Hobby, 22. Ah, overpainted, but it's okay. Uh, the boots is of a darker color, so I can cover that back up again. Wasn't paying attention to the boots. I uh, couldn't see it from the back. But it is only up to here, the pants. So there's a knee pad as well that is of a different color. And we'll get around to painting that. But in the meantime, let's finish off the pants. That area that I'm leaving white. That's the knee pads, knee protection pads. Right. And paint the inside right up to the crop share. Okay, reverse side. Make sure all the legs are painted. And before we move on, put more paints, grab more paints. Okay, what you want to do is paint both sides. That will basically cover up everything. Got that covered. Use to paint the rest of the pants, and again, making sure that I don't overpaint and cover up the boots. Again, apologies for the non-stop hitting of the camera with my uh, magnifying specs. Just due to the angle of the camera being right in my face, right? So I really can't help it. Sorry about that. Okay, we're done with the uh, pants. So the next one will be the boots, right?
And just notice the front portion of the hair. There's a little strand that is being painted. So we're just going back there and fix that. Just done. Oh, the knee, the knee pads. What color should they be? Gray. Okay, gray. That's very straightforward. Gray. Uh, yeah, let's use this. That black gray. Sorry, I'm gonna use black gray. Neutral gray will be a bit too light. Black gray will be yeah, matching, blending with the rest of the pants. So that's just this part here. Two small patches. And last but not least, the boots. The boots. The boots. The boots. Uh, mm. The boots. Smoke. I have a dark gray. Let's just use dark gray. I should have actually used black gray, but anyway, it's okay. By right, I should be painting the figures on my, on the, I mean, the pilots that are, I'm building now for the blue duo, rather than painting Mika. But Mika was already primed and I've left it unpainted for so long. <laughs> So we'll just finish it off. So well, after all this, right, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'll be using oil paints to bring out the shadows and all that stuff again.
Yeah, it's done. Right? So, pre pretty straightforward. You have like one, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven colors, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven colors. So, not that difficult. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, you, you can actually stop here. I mean, for those who, who have, like, uh, if you're happy, satisfied with it, right, just stop going with flat and then, yeah, you're pretty much done. But if you want to continue, right, you can use a wash to, to make all the creases come out. Or you can start painting light and shadows and all that stuff to bring out all the details. Yeah, it's basically your own personal preference. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for it to dry and then I, I'll give it a top coat and then start working on it. Uh, should I do a watch or should I paint it with oil paint? Mm. If I'm lazy, right, I can just do a wash. <laughs> I can do a brown wash actually. So that, that will bring up most of the details. Yeah, uh, a brown wash uh, using this kind of line. I can just bring out all the details. And if I really want dry, I can use. Uh, let's give it a try. I we'll do a brown wash on it. And then we'll see how it looks like. And if you're not happy with it, we can just wipe it all off. Oh, give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab my uh, water. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, let me keep all this first before we spill another, spill something else. So that is.
green. Is that green? Yes, it is green actually. Ah, oh, that's green. Let's keep all the greens. Okay, pretty cool greens. Dark yellow, brown. Oh, it's mixed up. That is mixed up as well. That is midnight blue. Midnight blue is over there. Is kept. Oh, we don't need this. Don't need these. Yeah, since this figure is, uh, I mean, since most of the paint I use are gloss or semi gloss, so I don't really need to coat it with gloss. You can, but yeah, it's up to you. You, you can actually coat it. Oh, that's weird. Why didn't that dark yellow actually pop come out here? This doesn't look like dark yellow. So I'm going to repaint that sleeve area because by right it should be showing as dark yellow, but it seems to have been. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be showing up too well. Maybe it could be due to the thinner effect just now. Hasn't really dried and messed up everything. Yeah, so just dab it along, let it run into the creases. This is really the lazy method of doing things. By right, you can shade it with uh, oil paint. For such a small figure, right? I uh, really won't be bothered with it. It's too small, too tiny. Too tiny. Okay, you can use uh, the dark brown thing for the rest of the area as well because. Yeah, try not to use black because it'll look a bit weird. Just too dark. Whereas brown, right, is quite a natural uh, shadow effect for this particular figure, at least. Crouch area, buttons, just go through the whole figure. So later on what we'll do is gently clean off the excess with uh, Zippo. Leaving yeah, the recess areas with the wash. And then we'll matte coat it. Yeah. Keep it a once over with matte coat. Right, cool. Looks like crap now. <laughs> but it'll be alright once it's dried up. Alright. Uh, again, I'm going to reposition the camera. So let me try to get this. 
Oh, okay. So that's how it works. Cool. Close this off. Close that off. Sorry, guys, if you see a different avatar, right? That is my other hobby channel. There's basically my fish hobby channel. I forgot to switch the avatar. I have so much hobbies. So many hobbies, sorry. Let me open up. There we go. Oh, this mouse is really crap. Seriously crap. Okay. Does it work better? Oh yeah, you can actually see it. Look at that. But the focusing point has yeah, increased the focusing point to be nearer. So you can actually see it better. Okay. Yep. So it still hasn't pretty much dried yet. Let me switch on the fan. Uh, reason it's not drying so fast is because my air conditioning is on. So it's about 27 degrees. Before that, it was like 32, 33. gonna do uh just a quick clean off with the uh sponge tool because i want to make sure i do it right if i use the cotton buds right what will happen is everything will just come up so i just want to sponge out the appropriate areas All right let's do this Lightly, right, gently go through it, and you'll pick up all the highlighted areas. And the highlighted areas, what will happen is later on, I'm gonna use another layer, uh, I'll paint another layer of lighter colors on it, so you will give it more depth. Or well, you will have the crease area, which are the shadows, uh, the base layer color, and then the highlighted all these creases which are sticking up so I'll go through that with a lighter shade to dry brush it sort of like dry brushing it yeah yeah we got to fix that sleeve as well so this is what it looks like so far i'm not going to clean the face right because the eyes are the shadows are right in the place where the eye sockets are so that that works uh similarly with the mouth right it fell into the correct area so i'll just leave that alone and yeah this is what it looks like so far 
So if you can seriously stop at this stage, uh, give it a good top coat of flat and you will look all right. I mean, for such a small figure, right? I'm pretty much happy with the results so far. So let's get that sorted out. The sleeve. Don't need this tool anymore. Oops, sorry guys. I'm a clumsy oaf. I'm just knocking stuff all over the place. Ah. Dark yellow. Should I paint it with another color? Because Nah, now I'll just stick to my original color. Because the color contrast isn't that much between the sleeve and the arms. So, a little bit lacking in color separation there. But it's alright. It's okay. Well, at least it wasn't a night wasted. We managed to get something done. Yeah, I really and really ignited my figure painting back. I love figure painting last time. I had so much, so many Warhammer figures uh, that I shouldn't have sold, but then again, I sold everything. Regret it now. Well, back then, I needed the money for some other stuff. That's the reason why I sold it. And the, I mean, the fellows who were playing with the group, actually, everybody stopped after a while. And nobody's playing it anymore. So that's the only reason why I sold it. Because, yeah. I had the... We were playing the Warhammer 40,000. 40k. So I was a Chaos... Yeah, Chaos Army. I had a quite a huge army, actually. If I remember. All right, that's done. Damn, I'm smelling so much fumes. With this icon. Let me put on... A... Uh, much better. Okay. And... What I can do now is to uh, paint the race area, like what, what I was saying just now. So how are we going to do that, right? What we can use is... Yeah, what I can use is actually oil paint. Ah, problem is, where did I put it? <laughs> Where's my oil paint? Give me a second. I wouldn't use it for so long, I don't even remember where I left it. Uh, oh! <laughs> ah, right at the bottom of my feet. Under the table. So this is what I usually use for my military figures and all paints and all that. Uh, Winsor and Newton, they're the best. To me anyway, they're the best. And I get a set of like 10 cubes with all the different colors, right? And this will last you basically a lifetime 
if you if you are not heavily into it. But yeah, they will last you a lifetime. Because you only use very little of it. And I'm gonna do something. Oh, shoot. Okay, by right, you should be using the lighter shades of whatever color you're trying to highlight. But since this fella is that small, right? So I'm going to make the contrast a bit more uh, extreme so that you can actually see it. And that will mean I'll have to use, I'm going to use white, which you're not supposed to use. <laughs> In the correct method of doing things anyway uh, that's a piece of tissue so that that will soak up the rinse it all from the oil paint so that it will dry up faster all right just leave it there for a while keep all your stuff That's right here. Trust me, you, you, you don't be needing that much. You just need a little tiny bit. Okay. I'm going to find myself a brush that I will use to. So I think this is a bit too big. Let me try and find another one. Okay, this will do. Yeah, you can buy this. This is basically a brush and I cut it off. <laughs> so, just for the small details to dry brush and all that take a dab wipe off the excess leaving really minute amount on the brush you can't really see it actually and then slowly over it and the beauty of oil paint right the changes will be so subtle subtle and the blending will be so perfect that it looks natural so all the race area right just go through it just ignore the shadow areas apply more paint if you need it You can already see the effect of it coming up. Right. So I'll be taking a photo of it and uploading it to uh, Instagram. Yeah, and you'll get a better, better picture of what I'm trying to achieve here. But as you can see, right, the you look at the creases, the white areas are actually showing. Oh hi, Sintu. How are you, man? Sorry, I'm I'm actually painting. Uh, Mika. 
I'm painting Mika today. So uh, the the whole uh, almost two hours I've been showing uh, everybody how to paint Mika. Right? How to paint all these tiny pilots <laughs> uh, using all paints, lacquer paint. Yeah. So again, all the creases here. I just paint that bring out the edges here the bottom part flick it so that i mean you lightly brush it that's why it's called dry brushing <laughs> and all everything will come out nicely right and oil paint is such a beautiful medium you really love the effect And as you build up, right, you can actually stop doing it, let it dry, come back tomorrow, and keep building up on the lighter areas, and the contrast gets more and more, right? Yeah. You can go through some of the hair area as well. Bits. Sorry, Mika. I'm gonna get your hair done. Ooh. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm not sure you can see. Yeah, and let's continue with the pans. The all favorite pans. Ooh, lint. Hate this tissue. So much lint. So what I'm showing you guys here will work for such a small figure. It will not work if you are painting larger figures because you are supposed to blend it properly in larger figures. So small figures, shortcut, quick, quickly get it done. And much more forgiving largest figures if you do it this way right bigger painters will <laughs> noob <laughs> yeah so we haven't even top coated it yet once we top coat it and get rid of the excess good shine right it will look much better right oh sintu uh good question only if it is not deep enough then i will scrape on that line but if it is deep enough uh yeah leave it alone and it should be okay but again right if it is not deep enough then just scrape run through that line again because don't don't forget we'll be spraying primer and all that on top of it so if it is too fine and not and if it's too shallow that line will disappear actually yeah so depending on the kit oh i can actually show you yeah what am i doing now let me show you uh let me have a look whether there are any lines here. <coughs> oh, there are. Okay, cool. Uh, not sure. Uh, let me. Sorry, too too many things popping up on my window. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, you see the fine lines here. Uh, hang on. Okay, you see that line, that line, and that line. 
those are okay you you don't need to rescribe it okay you can leave it alone but if it is anything uh, more shallow than that then you need to rescribe it okay hope, hope that helps Oh, Mika is almost done. Right. Yeah, Mika is done actually. I'm not going to paint it anymore. It looks fine. All right. What you can do next is to paint the base. Right. You can paint it as if it was. Uh, on a hangar bay area, the gray area, or you can leave it alone like this, right? Yeah, it's pretty much up to you. But what I'll do is, I'm going to top coat this fella. And should I leave it? I really feel like I shouldn't just leave it like this. I should actually paint it. I'll just top coat this fellow, protect him first, and then I'll see what color I want to spray the, i uh, paint the base, okay? Uh, give me a second while I come back. I'm going to bring him to the outside and spray it, and I shall be back. Right, I'm back guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, so we have top coated it with uh mat. Clear mat. Let me get rid of this oil paint, I don't need it anymore. And we are done. Oh, music, uh, music and hobby is local to me, Sintu. So I get them in like two days. Whatever I order from them, I get it in two days. So they are pretty much, yeah. I can actually drive to their shop if I want. It's about two hours away. <laughs> but yeah. So that's Mika. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The, the only problem now, right, uh, is with shipment. Because all the cheap method of sending stuff over internationally has actually stopped. And everybody needs to use the logistic partners. So they are taking advantage of the situation and charging quite a lot for even a small packet. So sometimes it's extremely crazy. The sh the shipment might cost more than the kit itself. So that's uh, if, if you can if you can wait right. What you can do is order whatever kit you want with Musican. Ask them to keep it for you until the uh, everything is back to normal and the uh, usual shipment or way of shipping is back online. Then ask them to send everything to you. Yeah. Because right now, right, if you if you want the kit urgently or oh, I, I need it now, then you really need to pay through your nose for shipment. Yeah. 
I mean, if you have like 50 backlogs, you really don't need to have the kit immediately, right? But you can order it. Michigan will happily keep it for you until everything is back to normal. Yeah. And it's at no extra cost as well. So it, it really works well both ways. There are just so many kids out there. Yeah, it's, it's incredible the amount of choices we have. We are so lucky. Lucky and unlucky at the same time. Lucky for us, unlucky for our uh, for our wallets. <laughs> our wallets are crying. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a photo of this fellow, and uh, I'll post it up. Uh, let me find a nice black background. Oh, new type definitely because they are in the US. So imagine they have to ship from around the world. With Musigan, they just need to ship across the country. You're you're our neighbor. <laughs> so it's so much nearer. Oh, I can't focus. What the? Oh, you definitely look better tomorrow morning under the natural sunlight. Right now, what's happening is that these lights are too bright. So, they give up a sheen kind of thing. Yeah. Hey, it's you, man. Thanks for dropping by, Shinto. Okay. I'm gonna take a nicer photo of this guy. I need a macro lens and stick him up actually. But I want it to be natural light. Oh, okay. This actually looks better. Let me see. Oops. Sorry. That's it. It's done. A little guy is done. Yeah, as I was saying, right, I'm going to paint the base. So 
so using back step piece of stone. Uh, cut this up. The only reason I'm why I'm wrapping it up is to protect the pin when I clip him. Okay. So base color. Uh, I suppose we can just do gray. Yep. Let's just do gray. Black gray. Black gray. Pin this. Because it's done. Alright guys, that's it for tonight. Thanks for joining me in this stream. I uh, hope you learned something about figure paintings. Until we catch again. Take care everybody. Good night. Bye.